Welcome to Ghost of Shishima, it's Abyss, and in this video, I want to talk about some tips and tricks I wish I knew earlier. Now, after completing the game and many hours into it, it's time to talk about some tips and tricks. The first one on the list is Bamboo Strikes. Okay, so go into your menu, scroll over to Options, and select Accessibility. Scroll down once to Controls, and then turn that on. This right here will remove the timer for the button sequence that you need to press in order to complete the Bamboo Strike. So I'm gonna show you an example right now. This is a really easy one, square, square, X, X. And right now I'm just pressing it very slowly and then I'll be able to complete it with no problem at all. So if you are really having trouble, make sure you turn that on and you can also write down the button sequence. Then you should be able to complete this guaranteed. Next is standoffs. So after a couple of them, I started noticing that the enemies will flinch at you and it didn't catch me off guard at first. So I was kind of laughing, I'm like, okay, so we're gonna play this type of game now. Uh, but I did get caught a couple times and that's something you do not want to do. But in order to avoid that, you wanna stare at their feet. So whenever you're doing a standoff, don't look at their weapon, just look at their feet. So they just flinch right now. And so I'm just gonna look at the feet and now it moves, I'm good to go. So whenever you're doing a standoff, don't look at the weapon. Always look at the feet and then you'll be good to go. Next up is unlimited stamina. So let's say for example, you're just running around the open world. Maybe you're trying to follow that fox around or you just don't feel like using your horse and you just wanna run around the open world. Eventually you're gonna run out of stamina. So the way around this is you'll press circle twice and do a roll. So as soon as you get out of stamina, you'll start to slow down. Just press circle twice and do that roll and this will automatically regenerate your stamina to full so that you can continue to run. I had to do this a couple times when I was following that fox and there was one collectible that I thought was close by but I kept running around forever. So this is a nice little trick. Just double tap the circle, do that little roll and this will regenerate your stamina so that you can continue to run. Next I wanna talk about two charms that I recommend getting. The good news is they are available in the first region and most likely you'll be using them throughout the rest of the game. So both charms are gonna be defensive charms and the first one when it's equipped, killing enemies will give you a bit of health back. And the second one when it's equipped, it will make parries, perfect parries, perfect dodge, easier to perform. So I recommend equipping these two charms. These two are my favorite. So next I'm gonna show you the locations to both of the charms. The health one is available at the Springfall Shrine and the parry and the dodge one is available at the Golden Summit Shrine. So I'm gonna show you the location and then me picking them up. In the description below, I have a guide for the locations to all 16 shrines and how to complete them. So I recommend checking out that guide in the description below. Okay, so now that we have that health charm, there is one technique that I recommend getting. It is right underneath your smoke bomb at the very last one. And every time you throw down a smoke bomb, it's gonna restore some of your health. So picture this, we have that charm that's gonna give us health every time we kill an enemy. We throw down a smoke bomb, we're gonna get our health back. So I'm gonna show you an example of everything. Okay, so at the bottom left corner, you can see my health is about at half and I'm about ready to throw down a smoke bomb. Here we go. So I got all that health back right there. I'll do a quick assassination here, and then another one, and my health is almost at full now. So with that charm and that smoke bomb technique combined, I never run away from a battle. If I'm ever low on health, I'll throw down that smoke bomb, quickly try to assassinate two or three of them, and then my health is good to go. So it kind of reminds me of the Assassin's Creed, throw down a smoke bomb, quickly assassinate them. Next, I wanna talk about the legendary combat arts. There are four of them in the game, and I didn't pick up any of these until I got to the third region, and this is something I wish I did sooner, because I use these a lot ever since I got them. And you can get the Heavenly Strike in the first region and you can get the Dance of Wrath in the second region. So you can get these fairly early in the game. So let me show you where the Heavenly Strike is. As you can see, we're in the first region and it is almost like the center of the map. All you have to do is go there, start the quest, and then you'll be able to unlock it. Now I do have an in-depth guide in the description below, so I recommend checking that out. But let me just show you a little bit of gameplay of it. <coughs> A 
It definitely makes combat so much easier. So now let me show you where the Dance of Wrath is located. All right, so this one's available in the second region, all the way on the right side, really close by the beginning. So as soon as you get to the second region, you can quickly pick this one up. So I'm gonna show you some gameplay of it real quick. Kind of hard to say which one I like better. I kind of favor the Dance of Wrath a little bit better, but it does cost three resolve to use. Now in the description below, I will have a guide to show you exactly how to get all four of the legendary combat arts. I will show you the location and then how to complete the quest. So I definitely recommend checking those out and getting them as soon as possible. Next, I wanna to quickly touch on resolve. Since you're gonna be using these legendary combat arts a lot, most likely you're gonna be low on resolve. So the quickest way to fill it up is to do a standoff. So right now I have none, and as you can see, it's quickly filling up. So if you're ever low on resolve, look around the open world, try to find a standoff, and this will fill it up fast. Now you can also do bamboo strikes, and this will give you additional resolve. So you definitely wanna be on the lookout for that. But if you're ever low on resolve, just quickly do a standoff, and this will help fill it up. All right, so a couple more tips and tricks. Now the game does tell you this, but I'm just gonna give you a quick reminder. If you ever hear an archer yell, that means he's telling his buddy to duck because he's about ready to fire an arrow at you. Now, if you ever see a fox, you definitely want to follow it. It's going to lead you to a shrine. And if you see any yellow birds, you definitely want to follow it because it's going to lead you to an undiscovered area or possibly a collectible. All right, there you have it. Those are the tips and tricks that I wish I knew earlier. If there's any other tips and tricks that you would like to add, then please leave them in the comments down below. But other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. And I will see you next time.